video. We're not going to need any background music in this because we've got a speaker playing some music there. I hope it's not too bothering for you guys. And there's a ton of wind. So Cole right now is literally stood with the camera like this trying to block the wind. But today we're talking about this extremely special Ferrari here. We're at Salon Privé, but this is the car I really wanted to show you guys. This is called the SP3JC. So SP for special project, three and then JC, John Collins. Um, so the owner, we're gonna tag his Instagram here um, because you guys can go follow. He's got an amazing uh, car collection. And uh, this is one of his stunning Ferrari collection. So this is actually a really special, special project um, because it is the first special project to be based on a limited edition Ferrari. So usually they'll take a 488 or an F12 or an 812 or something like that and base the special project off that. However, this one was based off of an F12 TDF. So it was a special project based off of one of their special limited edition cars. So if you come around back, you're probably thinking, no, it's not an F12 TDF because it's got 812 lights. Well, that's one of the changes they made. So it's got these 812 lights around the back and this whole rear bumper and rear diffuser area has been changed. You've also got the uh, sort of aluminium exhaust tips rather than the, the black ones. The music stops. It's perfect. It's, per it's brilliant. Yeah. It's awesome. Anyways. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you just jinxed it. You <laughs> no, literally no, jinxed it. Okay, anyways. Uh, we've also, this is just going to be a video giving you a walk around because this is such a special car. No one really knows how much it costs, but I can guarantee you it is a lot. Anyways, yes, very, very special. So round back here, you've got these air outlets, uh, completely new. So this car took three and a half years um, from, from when they first decided they were going to do it until the car was completed. It's a really long project with Ferrari. And there were some awesome changes where John Collins was, uh, you know, having to push hard with Ferrari to get some of his ideas and vision through. So for example, there's this this double bubble um, sort of sort of design back here, like on the old C-type Jags, D-type Jags. Um, so you got you know one for for the driver, one for the passenger, and in this bridge, this aerodynamic bridge there, which is kind of like a mini wing in the middle. John really wanted on the car, whereas Ferrari weren't so keen on the idea. But in the end, he just pushed it through, and now it's there. And I think it's a great touch. Uh, this fuel filler camp as well is a piece of art in itself. Uh, you probably recognize that very F12 TDF, but they have that solid block of what looks like aluminium just there. It's stunning. The rims are a normal design. However, you do have red paint around the outside of it. Um, and yeah, it does look pretty good. Sorry if you also hear other people walking around. Um, there's obviously a lot of people here. Beautiful matte paint as well. Absolutely stunning. Uh, number seven on the side. So when you order these, often to uh, make the cost sort of more realistic, they'll ask you to order one, two, or three. So John actually owns two of these. This is one of the two that he owns. Not too bad, right? Um, there are a few changes inside. Come, I'll show you. Um, so the first change you'll notice are the windows. Um, so this window here, you'll see is shaped in this way. That's because uh, there's no actual roof for this car. There's just a canopy you can put on in case of emergency, uh, but there's no actual roof. So this is a, a sunny day only kind of car. Um, a few cars might start starting now. Now these seats, they may just look to you like they are, you know, 812 comfort seats or something like that. But they are actually very special because the F12 TDF, which this guy is obviously based on, as we've said, um, only came with the sports bucket seat because they were molded around the shape of the chassis for the TDF. Now, electric seats uh, didn't fit. The standard Ferrari electric seats didn't fit. So they had to mold uh, these seats, especially for this car and also fit all the electrics in there. So each one of these seats is about 20 grand, which is ridiculous um, and very cool also. Uh, you've got this nice little white stripe there, but then the rest is F12 TDF. So F12 steering wheel, F12 uh, air vents, carbon everywhere, nice little white touches around the extremities of the um, uh, paddles. Obviously, you guys know that this car is a naturally aspirated V12 over 700 horsepower and double clutch gearbox. So standard F12 TDF, uh, dynamically as far as the mechanics are concerned. There are a few changes though. Nice little white touches there. Now the main change, let's say mechanically, is here. So the rear wheel steering, uh, this is actually from the 812. So the F12 TDF had a system, but then they, they reinvented it uh, with the 812. And, and so this means that it's just so much more elaborate and so much more efficient, the rear wheel steering uh, on the 812. And so they use that on this car, despite it being an F12 TDF to start with. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and that's the interior. Uh, now, I'm going to open the hood for you. Here's the, there we go. Now the hood is uh, actually 
really cool than this car. So you'll be able to see when I open it more, but you can actually see through it there. It's got this reinforced glass, which means you can see the engine even when the hood is closed, which is a really nice touch. Uh, I just need to find the thing, there we go. Now this is awesome. You can actually feel that the hood is quite heavy, um, but despite you know, little differences like this. This is actually lighter than a standard F12 because of the lack of roof and things like that. So when you open up here, uh, you'll see fully carbon, all exposed gloss carbon, really pretty. SB3JC here, uh, which is a nice touch. And then, so yes, uh, uh, F12 TDF standard engine, which as you can tell is really pushed far back in, in the uh, car. So almost just basically touching your knees over there to have as much of a um, central front, central driving, um, weight distribution. Dis Whoa, that came out with a weird accent, didn't it? <laughs> that was like a little Scottish accent there. Um, but yeah, so really cool. So this is all sort of filler space with radiators and things like that. And the engine's actually much further back than, you, than you'd think. You can see the glass here, which is such a nice touch, isn't it? This car is just so epic. And being able to get up close with a Ferrari special project is <laughs> special. That's the word of this video. Um, now the front, They've changed a few little things aerodynamically. There's obviously a lot of carbon as well, but the air vents have been slightly reshaped, um, but overall it's basically quite similar round front. You've obviously got the eight F12 TDF lights there, uh, finished with the carbon finish, uh, which is a giveaway of the base of this car. Um, yeah, really cool. So thank you to John Collins. Give him a follow on Instagram if you're a car fan, because um, he's obviously got some epic cars. And uh, yeah, very, very cool to be able to be up close and personal with a Ferrari special project. First time I've really been able to have a poke around. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thought it'd be a fun video for you guys and we just made that real quick. So thanks for watching. As always, please subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you again very soon guys. Cheers and bye-bye.